has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, or AGRA. They're hoping to pump about 457 billion naira into the agricultural sector. The initiative makes special focus on the needs of smallholder farmers, agro processors, agribusinesses and input suppliers across the agricultural value chain. Joining us now from our studios in Lagos is Abimbola Oladapo, the executive chairman of Lawnview. International. Thank you very much for coming through, Mr. Oladapo. Uh, just talk to us about this MOU between the Central Bank and AGRA. Uh, yes, it is an initiative to ensure that uh, farmers are able to get funding because most banks, if I will say all, would not want to lend loan money to uh, peasant farmers because of the problem of security. But this initiative is going to ensure that there will be a all encompassing, encompassing arrangement that will guarantee payment to loans to farmers, right. peasant farmers. All right, we're talking almost five hundred um, uh, million dollars, as it were, and about three million dollars of this is directed at leveraging commercial lenders just to try to avert or alleviate the risks that they think they may incur by lending to uh, farmers. Just tell us about the bank's attitude to the agricultural sector in Nigeria, because we're told that of all commercial lending, agriculture only gets 1%, uh, and yet it's 40% of GDP. Yes, that's right. Um, like I said, bank, banks are set up to make money. And when they know that they loan money to farmers and they do not have a way of getting back their money, they get very weary. But this initiative is going to ensure that their money comes back. But the full modalities have not been properly put in place, but I believe that with this MOU, it will be put in place and uh, farmers can access money directly from uh, the banks. And of course, apart from the money from the certain CBN, CBN has also made it mandatory that all commercial banks put in about $3 million. All right. Um, let's talk about the sector and what's needed, because there, we're told that there's an emphasis on the small-scale farmer, and yet... Um, general wisdom is that Africa should be thinking about economies of scale when it comes to agriculture. Um, yes, there is a, a place for the small-scale farmer, but in terms of boosting GDP, it's big estates that we should be talking about. Yes, uh, like you said, the small, the, far, the far, farmers almost give about uh, forty percent of GDP, and unfortunately, they have just about one percent lending from that banks. But like I said, this initiative is going to guarantee that farmers are able to access this loan under an agreement, and uh, hopefully, they will. I mean, they will be able to pay back in such a, a, a situation. All right, but what I'm asking you is the approach, the focus on the small-scale farmer. Yes, to empower them because that's where a lot of farming activities happen on small holdings. But if you really want to boost the capacity of the sector and boost the earnings from agricultural exports, the argument is we should be looking at economies of scale, supporting farmers to create cooperatives on big farms as opposed to small holdings. Uh, yes, um, it's, uh, we have to take it one by one. We believe that um, if small stakeholders could access loan, they can now begin to think of improvement, putting implements, buying this, buying that. But without money, they cannot do any of these uh, things. And uh, this is just a starting point. I believe that sooner or later, uh, small st uh, stakeholders can begin to mechanize their agriculture and uh, require more money from the banks. All right. And, well, uh, we're also told that in terms of the collateral that uh, will be put up, there isn't any money that's going to be weighed up against the land. Just talk to us about the land reform process in Nigeria and how easy it is to acquire land for those entering the agricultural sector. Yes, uh, there must be a proper land reform, uh, reform. Right now, it might be a little bit difficult accessing land because uh, most land is vested in even the, uh, the orbas. And um, in, case, in which case, some of them that have C of O will have to also revert back to local uh, ch ch chiefs or others. But I just believe that that is just uh, is a temporary problem. What is important is for uh, for cooperatives to come up to come up with proper land uh, certificates so that they can use this as security against borrowing. 
All right, now earlier in the year, there were reports of the CBN recalling about 200 billion naira from an agricultural fund because the banks that were involved in this particular initiative were finding it difficult to disperse some of the money. They weren't engaging in proper due diligence and they weren't working well with the state governments uh, in terms of pursuing the vision of the federal government for agricultural reform. Has that all changed? I think yes. I think um, more, most of the banks are more alive to that responsibility. They are willing to give loans to a Greek now because um, so many other areas are still not, uh, there's still problem in such areas and uh, the CBN had asked banks to focus more on a Greek and they are looking into that and perfecting all the, all the issues that are relating to security. Like I said earlier on, no bank will want to borrow money without uh, adequate uh, security or having adequate assurance that the money is going to come back. Once this is by a worked out, I'm sure banks will be happy to lend to farmers. All right, now we've been talking about the farmers, the small scale farmers, the large scale farmers, but there are other elements on the agricultural value chain. We mentioned earlier agro processing. Um, for those who are entering um, the other end of the spectrum of agriculture, not the farmers, but those who are dealing with the um, beneficiation, the value added, what are the benefits of uh, this particular MOU and the plans ahead? Yes, uh, I'm sure that um, such sectors are well organized. They will be able to access this funding. The only problem that uh, agro-based industries have faced up are interest because you require very high uh, amount of money to be able to uh, push your uh, company ahead. But they, unfortunately, the interest is very high and I'm sure the government is trying to intervene from that perspective with a view to reducing the interest. All right, well, that argument has been put forward by the property developers, the manufacturers in Nigeria, and we know that the CBN is doing everything in their power to keep interest rates within double digits, or single digits, rather. Abimbola Oladapo, thank yeah. you very much for coming it's through. A